food prepping channel. I just wanted to show y'all what is on my sliding glass door. Now, I never used this door. I oh. used the kitchen door. But... I can't look. And look this at spider, which we I don't really know what kind of spider it is, but this spider has been here for a good month. Well, oh my God. sometime last night... I can't look. Because we were just over here talking about it yesterday. And sometime last night, this spider made that, I guess it's an egg sack. That spider's been there for a month. She's done nothing about it. And she's now allowed it, the time, to make an egg sack for its children. What the f***? Look at that spider. It's massive. And why is it yellow? It's is yellow. Is that all its babies in there? Or is that because it's venomous? Either way, that is horrific. And she just allowed that. Oh my god, no. If I'm seeing something like that on my door that's not leaving, I'm moving out, burning down the house, or probably more rational calling someone to deal with it. But probably burning down the house. There's a nightmare. When they bought this five bedroom house in rural Idaho, it seemed like an incredible deal until they started finding snakes slithering everywhere Ugh. in the walls, on the floor, in their garbage. <gasps> you could hear, if you can imagine, scales against the back of sheetrock. It was pretty eerie. Wildlife biologists say the real intruder is the house built square on top of a snake den where the serpents sleep breed and multiply Ooh. by the hundreds with no way out but up through the house that's horrific that is horrific imagine you bought the house you've already put your money in and then there's a den of snakes i'd rather a house haunted possess my soul i don't want a den of snakes under my home i would just rather a home filled with ghosts and evil entities pulling me out of my bed and trying to possess me than have a snake slithering through the walls and into my bed to play with me, you know? <laughs> okay, I can do this because it's on the other side of the door. <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, it just like hurts. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really hot. I'm instantly hot and I'm feeling wet. <laughs> I want to say and I don't want to say I'm going to say wet. My body's def in defense mode right now. This is for sure Australia or maybe Brazil. A southern country, but I feel like Australia. Only those have spiders this big. Like, why anyone willingly lives in Australia when you know this could be outside or inside your home is beyond me. And also snakes. Like, what the f*** are on out there? Like, whatever you're on, I need it because I'm scared all the time. Unless when you're from Australia, this stuff doesn't scare you. But there's no way you look at that and think, oh, it's fine. That's not fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so big. Oh shit. Okay. Oh my god. I can't. I, I genuinely can't look at that. That's too big. Fuck. I didn't see. I didn't see what happened. I could not look at that. That was one of the ones that I've spoken about in videos where it's like, it's too big to kill. How the hell are you supposed to deal with that? It's so thick. It's so thick and so large. It's horrific. Oh, oh my god, there's so many of that size coming up and I hate it. I genuinely don't know how I'm gonna get through this video. I can't look. First up, this <gasps> who rang the doorbell of his friend's house only to have a snake jump out at him. Oh, I thought he was holding the snake. Ah! That bit him! Kurt, take me to the hospital! Oh! Take me to the hospital! He gets out of his car and walks up to the I door, thought that was a snake. Not knowing that a five foot long bull snake was coiled around the porch light. Oh my god. The snake bit him right in the face. That snake, the precision to bite him right in the face, they strike so fast. And I don't like that they can move so fast with such power. And they have no limbs, they are one thing. It shouldn't be that way. Snakes shouldn't have that much power. Like they're already I hate them already and then some of them can poison you. This guy needs to go to the hospital, he might die on the way. He's probably dead, rip. No. Why is it like that? Why is it like that? Why is it like that? Why is it so thick? Ugh. But the thing is, 
Oh, okay, here's what I need to talk about. This is serious now. Okay, small ones you can kill, right? You can kill them. The ones in Australia are like houses. They're like f dogs. How do you kill it? You can't put your shoe on it because it'll eat your shoe. How do you kill it? Do you just not? For announcing he walked through a giant spider web, a father asked if there was a spider on his shirt. Things quickly unraveled oh my God. after it was confirmed there was an eight-legged creature taking up residence there. <laughs> it's fair to say that this family has arachnophobia. <laughs> this is good because I don't see the spider. It's not my body it's on, but can you imagine how horrific that would be? That's my biggest fear. Like I'm walking through a spider web and then there's a spider on you can't get it off. You don't know where it is. Oh my god. And yeah, that or he should have run out the front door instead of running further into the house to allow that spider to hide within the home. What a dick. If that was someone I knew, I'd be like, I'm, I'm leaving. You're out of my life, that's it. I'm cutting you out. I already see how big that is. Collecting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. No, don't touch it. My dear, my dear. Yeah, my dear, what I like. Oh my God, his face is so big. Oh my god. I think at the end of the day, if people think their job is hard, just thank or count your stars that you are not a snake wrangler. Can you imagine this being your job? How do you even get into this field? I don't want to know because I don't want to be there. Imagine that's your job. You've got to capture the snakes and they could kill you. I bet that job is always available because I bet so many people die. No, it's a video. Yeah, when your daughter's oh. room. I didn't ask. <laughs> no. There's a baby's one. It's like, oh, that's not too bad. It's just like maybe 50, 60. 50, 60 spiders in your home and it, you don't think that's too bad. Oh my, oh, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Pause it. <laughs> I don't want to watch it anymore. <laughs> okay. I can't. No, I'm done. I, this is the last video I ever film here, ever. I can't, I can't do this anymore. That's in her daughter's room. Oh my God, if you were my mother, I would leave you so fast. You can go to child services for like that. Allowing your child to be in a room with spiders. I feel mentally traumatized. Whip spider. Also known as the tailless whip scorpion, these spiders are not giants, but where normal spiders would use their front two legs in conjunction with their other six legs to walk, the whip spider's front two legs evolved over time into feelers that they use to sense what is around them in darkness. These feelers can be up to twice the length of the spider's body. Not only does this make them look bigger than they are, but it gives them a very stereotypically frightening appearance. Yeah. That, yeah, it's not pleasant to look at. I don't think I, I've ever looked at a spider and thought, hmm, quite pleasant. None of them are pleasant, especially not this one, which looks like a f***ing dinosaur. It's terrifying. Also, it had a name that sounded like Taylor Swift. <laughs> Maybe I was mishearing things. It sounded like Taylor Swift spider. Problems is. Five foot long rat snake who just wants to go back down oh. the bar. That's a snake. <laughs> <laughs> The snakes have been getting into the pipes of this North Carolina neighborhood through the roots. He came out of a tree that was hanging over the vent pipe and then down into the toilet. This was uh. the sixth snake that come out of the toilet. Six in four years. Six snakes in four years in your toilet. That's why they say in certain parts of the state and Australia, if you go to the bathroom, you should look check the bowl first before you pop a squat because the snake could come a crawling. That is terrifying. I hate snakes. I hate snakes more than anything. And everyone knows that. Oh, that honestly, if I encountered that again, it's another situation. I would rather jump off a bridge than be in a room with this. Actually, to be honest, I'd rather just jump off a bridge than do this video again. There's too many. I hate it. I hate a lot of one thing particularly spiders. I hate a lot of anything. They're all babies, which means the mother is somewhere and she's thick. It makes me feel sick. Oh, have you seen those videos where someone tries to kill a big 
spider and they hit it and then it's pregnant and then all the babies scurry out and now you've got infestation and you've got to burn the place down. And like, I can't mentally recover from something like that. I don't want to live in a world where I've seen babies come out of spiders. Inside the oh explosive magazines, these guys just go anywhere oh they God. want. Uh, this, this is a nice I guy, Haven Fort Lee. I can't. Come on, guys, physically go. can't. Guys, look, I feel sick. This is the big I feel sick. Come on, onto the brim. Come on, stop playing with me. Obviously, oh. a match pair, these two. I like being with each other. Get you over somewhere safe. Oh I'm my like, god. Stop. As well. Leave me alone. Here, rejoice in this. Come on, let you go. Well, okay, I'm clicking off that image right now. I hate that. I hate how chill he was. He was like, oh, keep them together. They love each other. Oh, they don't want to be separated. Just kill them with that broom. They don't need to be living. It's horrific. And I get he's Australian, so he's probably used to this. He probably deals with this every day. I hate them. I hate them. I genuinely hate them. It's a burning passion. A burning hate. Yeah. 20 foot long python. I hate how it's coiled. Ugh. Look at it. It's so tight. <laughs> Oh, look at it moving. It's so tight. Uh, oh my god. I just hate how tight it coiled around itself because there's so many stories like the snakes can just wrap themselves around your body and crush you. There's so much power in their one thing. Their body is so powerful and it has no right to be. It's not right. Ugh, it makes me genuinely angry that snakes exist on this planet. <laughs> them, spiders, toss them in the ocean, then toss the ocean out with it. Ugh. I hate that because it's a dirty environment. Look at all those webs it's spun. Thankfully, it's not as big as the others, but it looks like sharp. Like those legs could stab you and I don't I don't like its home I don't like those dirty webs this is a dirty home clean that it's probably an abandoned building I don't know but I don't like it I don't like it get rid of the webs kill them kill them all I hate spiders they I would rather have flies <laughs> you're no joke that may be a I don't know what that is <laughs> oh. What do we do? <laughs> I ain't touching that. Oh my god, I'm moving out. Here. That if that's Throw what that I see. At it. Don't. No. Oh my god. Ooh. They wanted to throw an empty water bottle at it. What's that gonna do? That's not helping you. You need an exterminator. Spray it to death with some raid. Look, I know I'm not a violent person, but when it comes to spiders, I'm violent because they terrify me. Australian mom who has no Ooh. patience for pythons. That's a python. Just go the other way. She found the pythons fighting in her shower of all places. Using a broom, uh. she starts to clear them out. But the snakes have other plans, so she gives them a piece of her mind. Don't be a prick. Just go the other way. <laughs> Talk about calm under fire. That's a. Python, and in my mind, maybe I'm stupid. I don't know what snakes are poisonous or not. I thought pythons were deadly, right? Maybe I'm wrong, but she's so calm about it. But it makes sense because she's Australian and she lives in Australia, so this is a common occurrence. I do like when she's sweeping and she's like, "Go away, you pricks!" And it's like, yeah, I'd probably say that. No, actually, not to a snake. I'd be like, just kill me, world, strike me down. That's what I'd say if I saw a snake in the flesh. That's why I'll never live in Australia. Sorry if you're Australian. I will not be a visitor to your country. Sort your snake problem out. <laughs> why is it got? What are those two things? What are the two things at the front? I can't look. What are those? The hair looks like hairy. What is it? Pincers? Where's its eyes? What? How is the spider working? Like, where's its face? Oh, is that its That's its front. Where's its face? Do spiders have mouths? 
I hate the color. I hate it. Oh, if I saw that, no. If I saw that, just punch me in the face and kill me. Like, don't kill the spider, kill me, because I don't want to be living and remembering this. Amongst spiders, the Brazilian wandering spider has one of the deadliest venoms. It is considered the world's most venomous spider by the Guinness Book of World Records. While they are only native to Brazil, these spiders, also called banana spiders, have been found amongst bananas harvested and shipped around the world. There was a recent story of one being found in a Whole Foods produce department in Oklahoma. Okay, this one I'm talking about. I think I brought this up in a video I did with uh, Lindsay on Central Dark. There are too many stories of spiders being found in bananas. Bananas. You think fruit is safe? They tell you eat, eat fruit. It's good for you. No, there's deadly spiders in there. Facts. Can't eat a banana. Sorry, there's a spider in there. That's what you can say to your parents if they tell you to eat bananas. There's spiders in there. Oh my god, 18 foot, okay, this is slightly smaller, 18 foot python, look at it, oh, look at it, the man is holding his face, oh, look how stiff it is, it's just, it's so, oh, no, 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 oh my god, that's too long, it's too long, this makes me really uncomfortable, because I just don't like that they move so fast, they move so fast, and there's horror stories of like, if you're on a motorcycle, never ride over one because it will coil in the wheel and then it will kill you. That's what they say. Or it, it can get in your car, easy stuff. There's nothing a snake can't do. So if you see one, just run the other way or jump out a window, hope you die. Ah! <laughs> I knew, look, ah, yeah, I can't, like it, when I say I've got a fear, I'm not even being like over the top dramatic. It, it physically hurts my body to look at spiders. Like I can feel my body seizing. Like I go into fight or flight mode and it's instant flight. And then my body feels like it's about to shut down. Like I, I can feel my organs panicking because they don't know what to do. And then the blood's not moving fat, like, you know? Anyone else feel that way? I'm just trying to look everywhere but the screen. Oh, uh. <laughs> Black tarantula. This tarantula is found in the tropical rainforests of Colombia and Brazil. It is extremely aggressive and nervous by nature and is also known for its odd defensive behaviors. When seeing a predator, it will stretch out its legs and bob up and down in an effort to scare off its attacker. With a leg span of up to nine inches, it is no more than a scary sight to us as its venom is not powerful enough to do much to a human being. Okay, that's fine. I was okay with that one because it was just like descriptive. Talk about them all you want, just don't show me them moving. It's them moving that really triggers me. The way they move, how fast they move, all their legs. And then how big and thick they get. It makes me feel sick. Oh, I'm not happy. I'm getting hot. Ugh, the noise alone is horrific. Rattlesnakes. Ugh. And they're camouflaged. Oh, they can buy at any moment. That's what I don't like about snakes either, is that they can adapt to their environment. They can camouflage themselves because they use this as a survival thing. I don't know. I guess they want to live. <laughs> Who wants to live? Anyway, they camouflage themselves in the bushes and then when you least expect it, they pounce and then you die. <gasps> oh, okay. This is like the best one on the list so far because of the finger size. <laughs> it's the smallest one so far. The others are massive like this and this girl's like, but look at my finger. This is still horrific but it's not the worst thing I've seen today. The one on the door really freaked me the because that was the size of an infant child. This is like something you could put your, you could cover it with your foot. But I also don't, oh, sorry, I just got scared thinking about it. I don't like squishing them. So I've got fear of many things. Looking at them, seeing them move, because nothing should move fast. Everything needs to just move slow. And nothing should have that many legs. I can't look. And also, I hate the sound when you squish one that's big. I don't want to hear it. So sometimes when I kill, this is insider information. Sometimes when I kill a bug of any kind, 
because it's never a spider, I can't do that myself. I have to go like this, ah, and then I throw something at it. I have to scream while it's happening because I don't want to hear the sound. But the worst thing is when you go to squish a bug, but you don't do it properly and it gets out. Coming up to the big snake. Where? Where is it? Well, I don't see it at this moment. Oh, I'm scared something's going to jump. Where is it? Don't pull it near the camera, I don't want to see it. Got him? That's a loud noise, it's like it's hissing. Do all snakes hiss? That was a loud hiss, that was pissed. I, oh, again, like, I'm just, all I can say in this video is that I'm so thankful I don't live in a place that has a problem with snakes. Or like, I live in a home that could potentially have a snake come up the toilet bowl and bite my <laughs> and then maybe crawl inside of it. It's making spiders seem a bit better at this point. These spiders I can kill. See? Shoe comparison here. Okay, this is one that, oh, no, actually. It's like, this is like borderline getting too big for a shoe stump because of how thick it is. Can you imagine how crunchy that would be when the shoe hits it? Crunch, crunch. Ugh, it would explode. Oh. No, it's like, oh my God. That's why they say, anytime you put on a shoe in the morning, you should always shake your shoe and tip it upside down because there might be a spider in there. And you never know, it could be a black widow and it'll kill you. I don't know if we get black widow spiders here. What are they called? Oh, the brown ones. They're called brown, something brown spiders? We had those in Alaska. They, those would kill you in your sleep. Oh, come on.